Hey guys, Gus the African Plant Hunter here in Wangi, uh, Northwestern Zimbabwe. And here to answer a question that I'm often asked about baobab trees, which is in communal lands where there's a lot of competing land uses. Are baobab trees recruiting, regenerating? Are there young ones coming up? And I'm here to show you right now a couple of pretty young trees, probably uh, less than 15, 20 years old behind me. Uh, there are many more around here and I can answer that question. Yes, there is plenty of recruitment. These trees actually grow very easily from seed. No problem. Whenever you find baobab trees, uh, it's very common to find very young seedlings on the ground underneath them. The problem, of course, is livestock and livestock comes in and tends to eat those young seedlings and it doesn't allow them to grow into mature trees. So the answer to that is protecting the seedlings when they occur naturally and allowing them to grow. And what is going to incentivize people to do that? The answer, very simple. If that tree provides them with a commercial income from the sale of the fruit, then they will look after it. So a lot of my work is about exactly that, trying to create commercial value for indigenous trees, indigenous plants, so that people really have an incentive to look after them. Here we're standing right next to a homestead. Obviously, when these started to grow, they were protected by the homestead owner precisely for that reason, because they're valuable. So that proves that this very simple approach towards Baobab sustainable use of conservation does indeed work. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. That this was a little snippet from Northwestern Zimbabwe. I'm Gus. Plenty more on my YouTube channel and Facebook and Instagram. Just check out African Planter. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye. Thank you.